Hello again, everybody. Scott Golightly, estate planning attorney here in Richmond, Virginia. You know, one thing I want to talk about that's come up a few times with clients is a, is a very significant limitation on a power of attorney. Now, you all have heard me talk about powers of attorney before. It's an important document. It's a document where you appoint an agent to you know make financial decisions on your behalf often when you know the principal who made the POA has become incapacitated so the idea is here here's the authority is of the agent to access my bank accounts get in my safe deposit box deal with the IRS that's a document that gives a lot of authority to the agent well when you pass away guess what happens to your power of attorney uh, it passes away with you. You know, once you're gone, the power of attorney is no longer effective. And we often get calls from clients who have lost a loved one who say, oh, I can call the bank and get access to that bank account because I'm a power of attorney. And I have to tell them, no, you, you can't. The power of attorney died with the person who made it. And in order to get access to things like bank accounts of the decedent and those types of things, you now need to go to court and qualify either as an executor, if the person had a will, or as what we call an administrator if the person didn't. And it's the executor and the administrator that now have access to those types of financial accounts and can, can transact business on behalf of the decedent. So just an important distinction. Um, POAs are great and they're really important, but they're not as powerful as a lot of people hope they are. And I just thought I'd make that point for everybody. I hope you're having a good Thursday and I'll um, see you soon.